Next, we'll define setout points for our alignment. These are useful for setting out key features in a tunnel, such as bolt holes or blast patterns. First, let's define setout position definition methods. The radial uses a vector defined from the alignment or an offset from the alignment through a position defined by a horizontal offset and vertical offset. The horizontal method uses a vector defined by a vertical offset and a horizontal direction, either left or right. The vertical setout position method uses a vector defined by a horizontal offset and a vertical direction, either up or down. And the blast hole method is a standard horizontal and vertical offset relative to the alignment. This is useful for the variety of circumstances that a tunnel surveyor can encounter when setting out key features as well as blasting and drilling. In this case, we'll select the setup positions and we'll add. We'll start with station 1200 and we'll end at that same station and we'll add a blast hole here. But there's other methods we can choose from. We can choose to code that point as well. So we'll give it a code of BH for blast hole. We'll apply a horizontal offset of negative one and a vertical offset of one and then press enter and you'll see that position stored. This will create a point on that TXL design. We'll create another position. We'll choose the radial method this time at station 1250, and we'll apply it to our surface. We'll give it a code, a horizontal and vertical offset, and then store that point. This time we'll choose a different method at station 1300. We'll select the horizontal method, enter a code and a vertical offset, and as well a horizontal direction for that setout position. Next, we'll add a vertical setup position. We'll set that at station 1350, and we'll enter a horizontal offset and then the direction for the vertical offset. We can choose up or down for that setup point. In this case, we'll choose up and store that. Then we'll create a multiple radial setup position at station 1400. In this case, the interval defines how many setup positions will be created at that station. So at a two meter interval, we have three positions that were created. Once we're done with setout positions, we can press accept 